welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels like absolutely ages since I filmed a video. Before I went to London, I pre-filmed around five videos, and so it just feels like ages since I stood here and filmed a video. Um, but today's video is going to be a Chic Wish haul slash review. Um, I thought I'd do it in this style because I feel like Chic Wish is one of those retailers that not everybody has shopped at and is not it's not like a really well-known website. Um, however, I do feel like they do have some really fun girly bits um, that are always like really unique that you can't find in most kind of other retailers. Um, and also I feel like some people are a bit hesitant to shop on there because it isn't so well known um, like our ASOS and things like that but I'm just going to share my honest opinion about some of the items that I've picked up. One thing to know is that some of these pieces were gifted to me however I will sh share my honest opinion on them. I've sh shopped on Chic Wish myself a few times and so I kind of know the kind of process and the quality of the items and things like that. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into the video, but if you are new here, hi, my name is Molly and I post fashion videos every single Wednesday and recently I've been posting on every single Sunday. It was going to be like a once in a few, every few weeks kind of thing, but I have been posting every Sunday. Um, so yeah, definitely turn on post notifications to be notified when I post so you don't miss a video. Um, but if you enjoy outfit inspiration in general, I recommend also heading over to my Instagram. All my London outfits are going to be coming soon. All the nice pretty spring florals and pastels are all over there. So definitely go and check out my Instagram where I post daily. So yes, before I get into the video as well, I'm really sorry for the really long interview intro, but I just wanted to show you this outfit that I have on. Um, in particular, this little jacket. It's from a website called Dane Fashion, and my petite girls, you're gonna absolutely love me because this brand is purely for petite. And I just had to mention it because they sent me a few items and I've been non-stop wearing them. The quality is absolutely insane. It's so, so good. Um, and they just have the cute little girly bits that I absolutely adore. So it's in this little baby blue colour, so I've paired it with my Lily Silk blouse and my little Zara skirt. Um, and yeah, I just think it's such a cute little outfit. But if you aren't petite as well, um, some of my friends on Instagram as well have also picked up a few bits from Dame Fashion and they look perfect in them as well. I think you just have to size up maybe. But yeah, I'll link them down below um, along with all the other pieces that I'm going to show in this haul just in case you're interested. So yeah, enough rambling now, let's get on with the video. So before I kind of get into the new items from the haul, I thought I'd show you the first item that I ever ordered from Chic Wish, which was around this time last year. Um, it's this really beautiful kind of maxi dress. Um, which is obviously quite Zimmerman inspired. Um, Zimmerman came out with a dress really, really, really similar to this last year. And so I saw this on a blogger on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try out that dress. I'm in love with the Zimmerman version, but obviously I couldn't really afford it at the time. And if there's a dupe, I always go for a dupe. So this is the dress. It's really pretty. Obviously it's not linen like the Zimmerman one would be. Um, but it's in a nice fabric, um, it's quite a heavy fabric, it's completely lined and everything. I will pop a picture up on the side here of um, me wearing it, I have posted it on my Instagram already. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it might be nice to show it you. So when I ordered this, it came within two weeks, I think. The delivery time is a little bit longer than most retailers, so that's just one to watch out for. Um, and also if you've ordered like a big order it comes in kind of different packages sometimes so that's also just one to watch out for but I had no problems with the delivery it did come um, and it was just packaged in kind of plastic packaging which I would prefer obviously like cardboard or something more recyclable but um, yeah that's just something that they've got to work on um, but yeah I was really impressed with the quality of this piece as you can see the colours are really really vibrant um, the material is good quality, it's not see-through or anything. So yeah, I was really, really impressed when I picked up this uh, dress. So after I bought that dress, I then picked up this dress here, which is this really, really pretty little tea dress. Um, again, with a really vibrant pattern. Um, and it's just so girly and I just feel like you can't pick up dresses like this anywhere else but Chic Wish. They always have like really fun pieces like this that are so unique. Um, I'll pop this on as well, I'll show a little video clip here of me wearing it. 
um but again this is quite old so i don't think it's available to order anymore but i just thought it was worth showing you as well uh, again purchased with my own money it came within a couple of weeks um and yeah it's so pretty and i wore it all through summer last year it's just an easy one to sh chuck on uh, but of course it's really nice in spring as well with some knee high boots or something like that to keep you warmer uh, but yeah, as you can see, again, really, really vibrant colours. Um, it's in this really beautiful kind of crochet material. Um, not itchy or anything. And it's got a hidden zip here, which I think always looks like more expensive. Um, so yeah, I was really, really impressed with this item as well. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into the haul now um, with all the new in items. And I will let you know the kind of sizing, the prices and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the first item and I have got to say, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's this really, really beautiful kind of knitted midi dress, which is obviously quite different to my usual style because I do usually go for shorter dresses. But when I saw this on the website, I obviously fell in love with the pearly buttons that it has. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while now, you'll know that I am absolutely obsessed with buttons like this. I just fall for them every single time. Um, but yeah, so it's this beautiful knitted midi dress. Um, I got it in a size small to medium. The one thing that I would say with Chiquish is I feel like their sizes are quite limited. Obviously being petite, I really struggle when the sizes don't go down to like smaller sizes like an extra small I think would have been better but it does fit quite nice um, and it was $62 which I think works out at around 40 something pounds so I don't think that that is too bad for a dress like this it's actually really really good quality um, super cozy material it's not itchy at all um, and I really really like the details obviously these buttons are so beautiful but also like the gold contrast trim is really pretty and it hits just the right point just that tiny little bit after the knee so that when you walk your, your knee comes through it's easy to walk in but this silhouette is so so elegant I'm absolutely in love with it this is the type of dress that will look nice on every single figure like if you've got a bigger chest it will just flatter you so much if you're kind of curvier it's going to kind of cinch you in at the waist honestly I think this dress is going to look so beautiful on so many different people and I'm really really impressed with the quality of it and everything so yeah this is a definite keeper from Chicwish. I absolutely adore it. Okay, so here is the next outfit that I have on. Um, I am absolutely in love with this outfit as well. I just absolutely love the colours of um, together. I really like this kind of beigey taupe colour. I've mentioned in a few of my videos that this colour is like one of my fa new favourite colours, a new favourite neutral. Um, I just find that it goes with so many different um, outfits. So let me talk you through the outfit. So firstly, I have on this kind of knitted top um, that has these beautiful kind of peplum sleeves in like a net. And it has this really cute little bow on the shoulder as well with the pearly kind of button in the middle. Uh, it really reminds me of uh, tops that Ted Baker used to sell and I absolutely adore them. It's just so, so pretty and so girly. Um, and I just have it paired with this little skirt, which is a kind of cream style fit and flare skirt. Um, it does have shorts underneath, which is always really good because um, it is quite floaty and I feel like if the wind blew, it would go up. But it's quite a thick material again, really, really good quality. Both of these items were $39, which works out to around £30. I got the skirt in an extra small and the skirt fits quite nice. Um, there's a bit of room in there and also if you look at the top here it's got some elastic as well so I think that this probably would fit up to an, a size 8. Um, so yeah um, it's a little bit more baggy than I would like it to be but I'm not mad at it because I often find that with skirts so if I want a skirt to fit like perfectly I usually just go and get it altered anyway but I don't think this is too bad I would probably wear it with jumpers anyway because I think this skirt is a little bit too thick for summer. Um, but really nice for spring. I have already wore this skirt quite a bit um, over on my Instagram. A really nice skirt to pair with different things. Um, and the top I have in a size small to medium and I would say it fits quite nice. Obviously it's not like skin tight that I, I think it's meant to be. Um, 
but I do quite like the fit of it. The colour, as I say, is just absolutely perfect for me. Um, but yeah, another really nice little girly spring outfit. I'm actually really, really impressed. So yeah, really good. Let's get on to the next outfit. So I've already shown this dress on my channel before. It was in my transitional winter to spring outfits video. Um, but I just wanted to show it again because it's still in stock. It's this beautiful little kind of ruffle dress in this kind of cream shade with the brown kind of swirly patterns on it. I previously styled this with a little belt round the middle um, with a little trench coat over the top and my brown um, Fairfax and Favour boots. I'll insert a picture here. Um, but I absolutely love this little dress. I have worn it quite a bit since I've got it. Um, it's super versatile and suitable for kind of any weather. Um, it is quite a thin material but you can fit your thermals under there and wear some knee high boots and tights and it just fits for any kind of uh, weather just because of the kind of print I think. Uh, but I really really like this dress. I have it in a size extra small I think. Um, and I think it's around 50 something dollars which works out to about 41 pounds I think. Um, so another quite affordable dress. I'd say that it was like it's kind of on par with the other kind of high street retailers that we have like ASOS and things. I think if you were to spot a dress like this on ASOS it probably would be around the same price. So definitely kind of standard pricing I think. There's nothing wrong with the pricing. Um, I would pay £41 for this and I've got no problem with that. Um, the quality of this dress is quite nice. Um, it's not see-through, it's got a little slip underneath. Um, so yeah, it is quite a thin fabric but that's the style of the dress. So yeah, I really really like it and I have enjoyed wearing it over spring as well. Um, it just looks so so sweet with knee high boots and I really really like it. So yeah, another win from Chic Wish there. I don't think that you can go wrong with Chic Wish dresses, I just think that they always come out with the most beautiful patterns and things. And these ruffles are just so feminine and girly and sometimes it's quite hard to find items like this on other websites. So yeah, it's just definitely a winner for me. So I've just popped this trench coat over the dress that I've just shown you. I'm really really sorry if the audio was rubbish in that first half of the video I forgot to attach my microphone to the camera um, so hopefully it'll be a bit better now but as I say I'm just going to pop this trench coat over the top of the dress that I just showed you so that you can see how it fits um, so this is an older piece from Chicwish as well but they bring out pieces like this all the time it's like one of their kind of classic collections um, so it's this really pretty kind of trench coat in this off-white kind of white colour with these tortoise shell buttons um, the material is kind of like, it, it is just polyester, but it's completely lined on the inside. Um, it's probably not waterproof, so you probably won't be dry if it, like, rains on you. But I do still think the quality of it is, re is really nice. It's really nice for kind of a spring jacket. I love the kind of balloon sleeves. I do wish they were a bit shorter, but obviously, like, most people are taller than me, so... Um, it's going to fit like people that are like five foot two and above better um but yeah I'm, I'm not mad at the sleeves at all i also think that the buttons make it look a lot more expensive sometimes when you have coats like this they put on those really cheap looking kind of white plastic buttons but these look really nice and they go with the jacket really well um i love how you can tie like cinch your waist in with this belt um and i just overall just really like the kind of style of it the lapels here at the front are really pretty, it's kind of like a double lapel and you can but like tie it up at the front here but I don't think I ever would and it's got this really pretty detail at the back that's like a flap um, which just adds that little bit more interest, that's what I mean with Chic Wish, it just has like these kind of really interesting items that are more interesting than your average kind of trench coat and that's what I absolutely love about them um, but yeah I'll link a similar one down below if they don't have this exact one, but I really recommend them for kind of lightweight spring jackets. It's not completely, like, it's not warm, but it's just what you need in spring, I think, um, and definitely just kind of like that bit of interest piece, like when you're wearing jackets, you do, like, that's mostly what you see of your outfit, so having an interesting piece like this definitely helps. 
So here is the next outfit. <laughs> As you can tell already, this jumper is quite big on me. Um, these items are older pieces from Chicwish, but they do have similar items available, and if not, they have the same items available. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you a wider range of items from there. Uh, just so you could have like an idea of like the different type of things that they sell, like the quality of different things. So I really like Chic Wishes skirts, um, although they don't always sell them in my size, um, I really like them, I think they're really really pretty. So this one I got like, I think it was like autumn last year, um, and I got it in a size extra small and it fits really nice, it's this kind of little pleated skirt with these kind of again tortoise shell buttons. Um, and it's actually a skirt as well, um, it's got shorts underneath, which I really like from Chicwish. I feel like with all their skirts, well at least all the ones that I've got, they all have shorts underneath, which is a really nice design feature for me, um, just keeps you that bit safer. Um, and this skirt probably when I got it, I think it was around $50 or something, so probably again around £40 or something. Um, but I know they've got a similar one in the sale just now that is around $39, which is again like £30. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really nice skirt. I'm always really impressed with the quality of their skirts and I wore it all throughout um, autumn last year and I've, a lot of my um, followers on Instagram bought it. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice skirt, so I definitely recommend Chicwish for skirts. However, I do have it on with this jumper, which is also quite an old one. Um, the quality of this jumper isn't as nice as like the dress that I tried on earlier. It doesn't feel like a knit, it does just feel like polyester. Um, it's not very warm either, it's quite a thin knit. Um, and I love the idea of the jumper, it's got like balloon sleeves with the gold buttons. Um, I do think that this would look nicer on someone that it fit, but obviously on me it's just way too big. Um, so it is on my Vinted account just now, but I just wanted to show you the kind of different knitwear that they do. Uh, but the gold buttons are really, really pretty, and as I say, I think it would look really nice on someone a little bit taller. Um, I'm just going to see what it looks like with the sleeves tucked under, because that's what I do sometimes if the, the sleeves are too long. Um, just makes it look like it fits you just that little bit better. So there it is with the sleeves tucked under, a little bit better, um, but again... Um, it's quite dramatic sleeves here that are a little bit too big but yeah I really do like this outfit but it's not one of my favourites um, I, I love the skirt but the jumper is it's it's okay um, I probably wouldn't re-buy this jumper uh, I wouldn't be bothered if I didn't have it in my wardrobe but it's it's quite nice a quite nice little basic piece so what I do love chic wish for is their capes you cannot get these blanket capes in many places I know that Abercrombie and Fitch like sell quite a few but they charge through the roof for them I don't know why they charge so much money for their clothes but like they're really expensive in general Abercrombie and Fitch I do love their stuff but it, it's just not that affordable um, but Chic Wish sell loads of these different little capes um, that are really nice to just pop on um, if it's not too cold but you just want to add that little bit of layering piece they can look really chic and cosy like if you're going on a car ride I wore this down to Birmingham last time we went for like a five hour journey and I just snuggled up in it but I really really like the colours they're this kind of pink and grey um, so it obviously fits really nice with my wardrobe, especially with the cream colour. Um, I have also worn it with a kind of belt round the middle here to kind of cinch in your waist and make it look a little bit more kind of uh, put together uh, rather than super casual like this. But I absolutely love these types of capes and Chic Wish sell loads of them. Um, so yeah, definitely worth having a look for if you see them on the website. But yeah, I just want to stay in it all day now. It's just so super cosy. So I've just kept the same jumper as I had on before, just to show you this skirt. Um, this is one of their kind of wool blend skirts. Um, so quite thick and best, uh, like good quality. Again, has the shorts underneath, of course. Um, I'm not a massive fan of this skirt, I have to say. Um, I got it in a size extra small and it does fit round the waist quite nice, however I feel like because the material is so kind of um, thick and it's got this kind of double 
double flap which adds just another layer of material. I feel like it just kind of adds inches to the waist and makes you look quite boxy which is obviously not what you want. Um, I'm not sure how this would look on everybody but on me I'm not really that keen on it. Um, the material is really really nice, it's quite thick and good quality and obviously would be really nice for kind of autumn winter. Um, however I'm not like a massive fan of this skirt at all but I did just want to show it you just in case you were interested in it because I know that wool skirts are quite hard to find and when you do find them they're often quite expensive but I think this was like $57 or something so again 40 something pounds um, so quite affordable but I'm not sure I, w I, I don't think it's very flattering um, this skirt in particular but the quality is there and everything I just don't think the design is that good um, but I did just want to show you another cape that I have uh, just while I have this outfit on um, this one is a reversible kind of I think they're like blanket poncho capes you can wear it like this side which is kind of a really nice beigey ecru colour and then this side is kind of like a tan tan brown colour, um, camel maybe. I really like this, I think it's really nice when you have it kind of with both colours showing, I just think it adds that little bit more interest. Um, it's super cosy again and really nice for autumn winter, I'll show you the camel side as well. So here is the kind of camel side, again they're just really easy just to throw on, um, especially when you just want to be really casual because some of the clothes that I have, like the jackets and things are really really pretty but sometimes you just want to be cosy and comfortable and be able to move and stuff and that's what this does and you can just snuggle up in it and yeah I just really like these capes that they do, um, they're just so so nice, really nice quality and everything and super affordable. Um, so I'll link a few down below if these aren't available anymore because I know these sell out quite quickly. Every time I go on and I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy another one in a different colour. They're always sold out. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's really nice. Okay. <laughs> so here we are taking a break from um, the kind of knitwear pieces and things. I've got on another really, really beautiful midi dress. Um, I do really really like midi dresses, every now and then I pick up a really nice one and I just find they're so easy in spring summer because sometimes I just don't want to shave my legs or I forgot or my tan looks horrible um, and midi dresses just look so elegant and they cover up everything um, and this one's a really really nice option, it's this kind of blue and pink watercolour flowers um, with a pleated waist uh, with a pleated skirt and it's got these beautiful ruffles and it buttons all the way up to the top and has this really beautiful kind of frill collar here and um, it's in this kind of chiffron fabric but as you can see it's not see-through at all I really like the design detail where they've put the slip halfway down the leg so that you've got that kind of sheer detail at the bottom there I think it draws attention to the shoes so if you've got really nice little shoes on like these ones here that are from um, 7 or 9, this, these would look really beautiful with this dress. So I've got this dress on in a size extra small to small and it is, um, I think it's around $55 which is around £40 or something um, which is really really affordable. The, the quality of this dress is really beautiful, I really really like it. It's just so feminine, so elegant and do you know this would look so nice for kind of like a spring summer wedding or anything like that, it's just so so beautiful. I think if I was to wear it I would wear a belt around the middle, so let me show you that just now. So I've just popped the belt on, this belt is literally just from Amazon, it came in like a pack of four and it was literally like seven pounds, but I wear them all the time, they're really good to just pop on dresses like this. Um, I just think it looks a little bit more expensive when the kind of seam is covered up, uh, but the kind of elastication does make the dress really really comfy. Um, I even think that this would look nice if you're pregnant and have like the really nice kind of chiffon skirt going over your bump. Um, but yeah, just a really really elegant, really delicate and pretty dress. I'm just obsessed with it. I've just popped on my favourite pussy bow blouse so that I could show you these shorts. Um, these shorts are just so so pretty, I really really like them but unfortunately they didn't have my size uh, the extra small so I bought a small but you see that at the back I've had to really kind of 
take them in with just a safety pin but I probably would get them altered because I really like them I think they're like a really nice basic kind of staple piece oh they've got pockets which is even better um yeah I really like this little kind of snaffle detail at the top here um just really really pretty and basic and also they don't they're like fully lined so they're not see-through or anything I love the structure I think they're really really nice um yeah not much to say about the shorts but I just really like them um I've popped them on so that I could show you a jacket as well so here is the jacket when I saw it on the website I was a bit like that could look really nice or that could look really cheap um when I've got it here it's it's quite unusual looking. I really like the scallop details um, and the kind of puff sleeves, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look. So let's let's pop it on and see. The colour is absolutely beautiful, um, but I don't know the fabric. Oh, these big tags. Get out! <laughs> oh my gosh! Right. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror because I can't see properly, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, c I can't see. I'm gonna have a look in the mirror now. I'll, I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so I've had a quick look in the mirror and it's not ugly, but I'm not completely sold on it. I like the idea of it. I just wish it was a little bit more fitted, I think. Um, but it's it's quite nice. It's this little lilac blazer um, with these really pretty puff sleeves and, and scallop detailing. Um, I think it was around £69, so it probably works out around 50 something pounds. Um, sorry, $69, so it probably works out about 50 something pounds, which is kind of standard for a blazer. Um, it is quite nice. Um, it's fully lined, and as I say, it's got really nice kind of detailing. Um, but I'm not completely sold on it, I just really wish it was more fitted, uh, but if this is kind of your style, like the oversized style, then it might look really, really nice on you. I do think also that this is in a size small to medium, which is obviously a size bigger than what I would have liked, I probably would have liked this in an extra small, because I just think that it comes off the shoulders a little bit, makes me look a little bit boxy, but I'm not completely mad at it. It is quite pretty but I'm, I'm not sure that it's like one of my favourite pieces in my wardrobe but I think it could look really really pretty um, I might just have to have a play about with it and see how I like to style it uh, but yeah little lilac blazer I'm not sure let me know what you think in the comments <laughs> so I saved the item that I was most looking forward to until last and I am not disappointed it is this absolutely beautiful little pink ruffle kind of water flower watercolour flower dress um, it is absolutely beautiful it is just everything that I love in a dress it's so feminine so girly and yeah this is what I mean by chic wish having just these gorgeous feminine pieces I have it in a size extra small and it fits absolutely beautifully um, I think it was around £65 which probably works to 50 something pounds um, it is in a really thin fabric, but that's the style of the dress again, this kind of chiffron fabric I do really love. So I really, really love this kind of chiffron fabric. Um, again, it is lined, so yeah, you've got that protection there, it's not see-through or anything. Um, it's got this beautiful little pussy bow up here, which just adds that extra feminine detail. And I love that the buttons are kind of covered with the same fabric. I just, I always think that that makes a dress look quite expensive. Um, it did come with this extra bit of fabric that I'm not sure what it's for, um, just this little fabric here, um, but the dress is like really really comfy because it's got this elasticated waist so you, ca you could wear it without this, um, it wasn't pictured on the website to be having this so I'm not really sure what it's for, um, so obviously you can wear it without um, and it still looks really nice. I mean, the elastic is not as obvious as it was on the previous dress that I showed. Um, but I, I've i put this round. Um, I think it just adds a bit more detail. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. You can wear it with or without. I'm I don't think it's that. Um, it doesn't matter that much. 
Um, I think this is probably my favourite item. So that is the end of this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Everything, as I say, will be linked in the description box down below. Please let me know whether you have shopped on Chicwish, what your experience was, and also don't forget to let me know which item was your favourite out the haul, which you think I should keep and which that you think I should return. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.